real question is, is our car still here? It is! Woo! Look where I parked my car. This is the most shady location ever. I parked it here two days ago and it's somehow it's still here and no construction person has moved it. I think it's just a holiday weekend. Look at this. I'm gonna have to move this cone to, uh, hope they don't care. Now we're good. Oh. Now I can't get in. <laughs> Think we're good. All right, so it is July 4th, by the way. So happy July 4th for those who celebrate it. We are just arriving in Queens to spend the day here with... Look at... <laughs> That's my mother-in-law, who's now in the vlog. Uh, we just came here to spend July 4th with her, which is funny because it's been basically a year. I remember doing this last year. Do you remember that? Yes, we were in Queens last year. We were here was, last year. Was I working on... I don't know what you were doing, I but I was here last year and I remember filming it because I remember filming you the were fireworks. You maybe. I was. I remember filming the fireworks as I dropped the camera down. It was like a transition. Uh, That's why I remember it. That was like a year ago. I'll see if I can find that vlog up here. Anyways, we're here in Queens, spending July 4th here with the family. And hopefully you all are having a good July 4th as well. By the time you see this video, it'll be well past July 4th, but what can you do? Time to celebrate and eat. You know what's really nice is when you live in the city, you can't carry all of this water, all the bottled water. So mother-in-law always gives us like three packs, 24 packs of bottled water. It's a life changer. New York problems. Also, the one thing I didn't know is that you have to put on plates front and back in New York, in New Jersey. But I'm gonna put these plates on Andrana's car right there before we eat brunch. Does it matter which plate goes on the front versus the back? Let us not forget the back. All right, so it is now the next day, as you can probably tell by the outfit change, but she's gonna look up here. Oh, I did. <laughs> it's the next day. It's July 5th now. We are going out to brunch with a few friends of ours. We had a good time yesterday. Yeah? Mm hmm Good. Um, just filmed another video, which will be released before this one. Andriana is filming her first video. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Someone's a little nervous. And, and we'll probably be filming our house tour. Yeah, that'll probably be up before this, I think. Right? So, yeah. So, house tour. Our, I mean, up? our apartment tour. We, oh yeah, we definitely don't have a house. I can't believe we we spoke about this like a year. It was like a year ago, and Pretty now much. we're moving out. Ah. Pretty much a year in the works here. We're moving out. So we'll go grab something to eat with the friends, pal and Andrew, brunch, cocktails, and enjoy our last week in New York City. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. It's very sad. You have to hit up all the places. All good things must come to an end. Babe, say hey. Babe, say hey. Hey. Why is this not coming up? Okay. Okay, so by now you've probably seen the title of this video that I got. Worst news and this whole moving situation has gone from bad to worse. And I got this email on my phone telling me the bad news. So let's just share it with you since it's at the middle slash end of this vlog. And here it goes. So if you saw my previous vlog, I mentioned that I start work on the 12th of July and that I can't move into my apartment until the 15th of July. Basically, I have a little discrepancy from when I start my job until when I can actually move an hour and 20 minutes away 
to where I'm moving, which is fine, right? I'll get a hotel room for a few nights, no big deal. Costs a little money, but at least I'll be close to my job and not be late on like my first day. But the main reason is I don't wanna commute an hour and 15 minutes each way. And also what you may not realize in the Northeast, you have to pay tolls and it ends up being like $40 per day just to go back and forth from Manhattan to where my job is. So that adds up, plus a hotel room, and we end up spending $1,000 for a few days just trying to live close to your job. So how did it get worse than it already is? Well, we got an email just a minute ago saying that the water pressure and the sprinklers of my new apartment does not meet code and they cannot give a certificate of occupancy until that water pressure for the sprinklers is at a certain pressure. Now, they've pushed back the move-in date even further because we have to wait for the city, which takes forever as you know, to dig up the pipes outside of the new apartment building, see what's going on, troubleshoot, see if there's a clog somewhere, see if they need to add another pump to the sprinklers, and it's become a whole kind of mess. Plus it's raining every day because of the hurricane that's now traveled up north, and it's just a disaster. So the property told us that we may not be able to move in until the end of July, worst case scenario, but we shouldn't bank on it, and it may actually be pushed into August. So this is kind of a huge headache, right? So I'm supposed to be out of my apartment in New York City soon, and if I start going into August, I have nowhere to put my stuff. I don't mind the commute as much, but I just have nowhere to put my stuff, and all of our whole apartment, which you've seen on my apartment tour, what do we do with all that furniture? I guess I'd have to put it in storage for like a few days and then move it to my apartment as soon as it's ready. It's just become a huge hassle and yeah, it's just an added stress. It's already stressful enough starting your first job as an attending physician outside of residency and fellowship, but added this whole extra stress of commuting, more costs, we don't even have a place to live right now. It's just extra stress that I don't need at this time. But I'm gonna stay positive because I'm hoping that sometime next week they're gonna tell me that it's all good and dandy and we can move in and we'll go from there but until then I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do but I'll tell you as soon as I know so this is a super random vlog I apologize but sometimes you guys like this so I figured I just film it because you want to see my life outside of like normal videos and outside of work and all that stuff so here you go this is me smash the like subscribe button follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already and uh, I'll see you in the next video hopefully I'll probably won't be in a new place yet but hopefully it'll come soon we'll see Bye.